world's best golfers taking over Torrey Pines this week. Fox 5's Heather Lake live at the course to check out, excuse me, to check out what's new this year. What well, happened? <laughs> oh. Oh, look at this. Look at this view, right? So this is brand new. Um, by the way, spectators back here in person for the Farmers Insurance Open 2022. Today is the first day. I'm going to talk about why it's changed from Wednesday to Saturday. But first, this is the Canyon Club. So this is new. There's two new really cool zones that you can hang out. Some of them are sold out. You could play hooky today and <laughs> come out here and hang out at the Canyon Club. We're going to walk through and show you this whole area. So Alyssa Kesar, you're kind of the social media host of the Farmers Insurance Open. So, yeah. you know, even if you don't love golf, all the things to do out here. And I always say, you know, sometimes the, the ladies and the gentlemen, they'll come out here, maybe just looking to check out all the views. And this is one of the spots. Yeah, aside from just being a golf event, it is more of a lifestyle event. We have the beautiful Southern California weather. We have a ton of different venues for people to enjoy, like hang out, get cocktails, food, concessions. I mean, there's really just so much to do. It's not just a golf event. Okay, let's talk about the Canyon Club, where yeah. we all are right now. So, um, you know, the, this all starts at 9 o'clock. So 9.30, we're going to talk about the tee times in just a little bit. But we are at the 17th hole, and this is awesome. So this yeah. is kind of one of those food and and uh, drink venues that is new to the course that people have probably never seen before. Yeah. Private bathrooms, yeah. bar, all of that. Yeah, it has open bar, uh, unlimited uh, food and a buffet, VIP bathrooms. You have the spectacular ocean views like we just saw. Uh, you can see 17 green on the other side. You have eight green. And this is one of our new venues for this year that we're really excited about. Well, these are those places too. A lot of people just like to keep walking the course. So you pay, yeah. you know, your $60, you can enter, but these are more of the like, you're paying for a little bit of a higher price ticket. It, you're adding on the VIP zones and doing all that. Absolutely. The ultra zone we're going to check out as well. Yes. That is at a tee box. So how does that work? Yeah, that's also one of our new venues for this year. It's located at the ninth tee box, just to the side of it. So you're able to kind of be really close to them teeing off on that hole. Are you supposed to whisper the whole time <laughs> that you're hanging out in the VIP zone? How does yeah. that work? Uh, I'm sure it will be fine. <laughs> the fans know they practice good etiquette here, and we always encourage that as well. But then, out the if you look the other way from the ultra zone, you can see. A variety of golf holes, so it's going to be a really great spot. We're excited about that venue as well. Okay, this is beautiful. I mean, I'm just taking it all in. We have yeah. gorgeous weather happening out here. I know we woke up with the fog, so we were thinking like, uh oh, is it going to be one of those years again where we're going to have to delay everything? Yeah. That is not the case. It is oh. gorgeous out here. Let's take a look at that full screen graphic. We can pull up so we can talk about some of the tee times because we've got Patrick Reed and we've got Phil Mickelson all starting at 9:30 today. They're teeing off, and then we've got our local San Diego guys, Andrew Shoffley and um, John Rom. Uh, last year, I mean, amazing yeah. players out here. They all start at 1040. So if you're out here, you're going to see some of the best golfers in the world teeing off. It's anyone's game out here this year. Yeah, the course is playing really tough. You always hear them in their post round interviews saying how difficult the conditions are at Torrey Pines, which is always nice to hear. Uh, but yeah, it's, we're going to see who's up for the challenge. It's an amazing player field. We have the world number one in John Rahm, who has won here in the past and won the U.S. Open this past June. So we're going to see who brings it this week. I mentioned there's a lot of money. This is the uh, the prize purse that's been a record amount. So what is it, $8.4 million? Yes. Yep, it sure is. <laughs> Wild amounts of money to be won out here, so I'm sure they're going to be bringing their best golf game as, as they would, whatever the prize would be. But, um, you know, there's a lot of money to be had out here. And it's funny to say, oh, such a tough course as you look out and it's gorgeous, you know. So oh, yeah. it is tough, but it's beautiful. And um, all the golfers, as, as we talk to them out here, they always say we love being in San Diego, and this is one of the places where they can enjoy. Um, I mentioned, Raul, too, that that this is different this year because it starts on Wednesday, ends on a Saturday. Um, much bigger conversations than the ones that I, they don't have these conversations with me, you know. <laughs> um, there's networks and, you know, the NFL and the PGA oh, all working together to make sure that I their see. sports can air and everyone can watch. So, yes, yeah, so the NFL is going uh, one extra week, so you get golf. And you get Sunday you get, football. Yeah, you, you know, you get all your all your uh, sports all in one week. So um, they worked that out this year. So you get Wednesday through Saturday out here. I just have a feeling there's going to be some people in San Diego. Correct me if I'm wrong. That are going to be like, can I work from home this week? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we can be your home. Yeah. We can yeah. be your home. Like here's my work from home. My laptop is going to be right here as I'm zooming, and you have the virtual background of your home office behind you. You're like, it's fine. <laughs> if you get your work done, then yeah. it doesn't matter where you do it, right? <laughs> or so they say. Uh, There's something about those virtual backgrounds, right? The virtual backgrounds where you could be anywhere. This you is true. You could be anywhere. I'd rather be there. Heather Lake, thank you. <laughs>